So graphing this trig function, notice I don't have my y-axis drawn in yet because there is going to be a horizontal shift involved. All right, first thing we do is we deal with the verticals. I'm going to do this with red. Any vertical stuff that I have to deal with, there is because um, there is an amplitude. There is no shift, so I don't have to go up or down. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be my center line, oh. my x-axis. And then my amplitude is going to be one and a half. So let me make, let me change these to larger squares. All right, so it's going to be one and a half. So it's going to go up to there. That's mm -hmm. one and a half up. And it's going to go down to negative one and a half. Mm -hmm. So those are my yeah. three my three horizontal lines that really matter. So this is y equals three halves. This is y equals negative three halves. That was my that was my amplitude. Now let's deal with the uh, period. Let's find the period. Well, the period has to do with b. So the period equals two pi over b, which is just pi. So it's going to start at zero, and it's going to end at pi. And halfway in between it is pi over two. Halfway between that is pi over four. And so this is 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, because the interval length is pi right there. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, pi over 4. All right, and now the last thing I have to do is the, is the horizontal shift. Let me do this in a different color. Let's do this in gold. The horizontal shift is related to the way when your book writes it like that, you can either factor out a 2, mm -hmm. which for some people is easy. That would give you pi over 8. Or you could just set 2x plus pi over 4 equal to 0. Set that whole thing equal to 0 and solve it, and you'll get x equals negative pi over 8. Either way, you're shifting it left, left, pi over 8. So pi over 8 is like, um, it's half of pi over 4. So pi over 8 is like right here. Mm -hmm. So this is tricky because it's fractions, but I'm mm -hmm. going to shift each one of these. I'm going to subtract pi over 8 from each one of these things. So if I subtract pi over 8 from this, I get negative pi over 8. Mm -hmm. If I subtract pi over 8 from this, I get negative 7, I'm sorry, not negative, yes. positive 7 pi over 8. Mm -hmm. So notice that this distance to this distance is still 1 full pi. Oh, so I did that wrong. And, and so now here, this is where it gets trickier because now for each one of these I have to subtract pi over 8. So mm -hmm. I have to like do a little math here. So this is 4 pi over 8. What's 4 pi over 8 minus 1 Three pi over pi 8? Over eight. 3 pi over 8. What's, i do the same thing here. This is 6 pi over 8. So what's 6 pi, pi, pi over 8 minus eight. 1 pi over 8 is 5 pi over 8. And then this would be 1 pi over 8 doing the same thing. You can kind of see the pattern. Mm -hmm. There's 1, 5, over 8, 3, 5, 7, negative 1. So now what I do is I go back through. I erase all of these things now that I know what my intervals are going to be, and I write them in very carefully. And remember, this right here, actually, is, I'm not using that because I'm. that's why I didn't draw in my line yet. So this is going to be called negative pi over 8. This is going to be called positive pi over 8. This is going to be called 3 pi over 8. This is going to be 5 pi over 8. And this is 7 pi over 8. Do I need the 7 pi over 8? Because I already have 5 points. Nope, those are... Nope. 7 pi over 8 is your last point. If you have 5 points and you have six or 4 intervals. Because isn't the 0... Nope, 0 is not one of your points. So notice that my I can now draw in where's my where's my y axis going to be now it's going to be in between those two points but does but is my y axis one of my one of my key vertical lines there it's not my key okay. vertical that and that's the trick that's where people get okay. kind of screwed up on this one I'll I'll put the points in a purple All right so it's a cosine graph and it's a positive one so it's going to start at the top end at the top bottom out in the middle and then the two, second and fourth point are going to be in the middle. So here are my, here are my, my first point's going to be up here. My last point is going to be up here. My bottom, my middle point, let me erase this down here. My middle point is going to be at the very bottom, right uh -huh. there. And these two points are going to be in the middle. The, 
the y-axis is not a line to even worry about. Okay. So here's my graph. Draw in the smooth curve. And then again, it would keep going like that if you wanted to keep it going. There's your answer. And so you're, you should be able to take these points. If They might ask you what's that point right there. That point is pi over 8 comma 0. What's that point right there? That point is, can you name it? What's that point right there? That last point on my graph. Um, pi o 7 pi over 8 comma... 7 pi over 8 comma... Um, 3 halves. 3 halves, because that's your top. 